today we're taking a look at a native 1080p full-size Dolby Ready projector from the guys over at Nexigo. This is their PJ30 model and it's ticking a lot of the right boxes for me. Number one, you do get 450 lumens so it's going to be a nice bright screen even in daylight but we're going to check out the quality in just a little bit. The LED bulb in here with about 8 hours of viewing it per day is going to give you a 10 hour life cycle and that's definitely huge for a projector. Once again, native 1080p, Dolby support, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.1. You're going to get screen mirroring on both iOS and Android if it's supported on your Android device. And what I like about it as well is it's perfect for those smaller spaces like a studio, an office, a smaller conference room because the working distance range is 4.8 feet all the way back to 21.8 feet. So you can get that smaller 44 inch screen size if you want or you can get up to a massive 200 inch screen size perfect for that game day Sunday. So again, it's ticking all the right boxes for me, but let's just go ahead and check out some of the ports and then we're going to check out the quality together. So as you can see on the front, we do have some, some working capacitive buttons that you can use to control this projector. And on the back here, guys, taking a look at the ports, here's your two HDMI inputs right over there. You do have your screen mirroring and your USB if you want to hardwire your phone to it right over here, as well as a secondary USB port. AV input, here's your headphone jack, and then here's your keystone dial right on the back as well as a nice big power button right there. So again, you get a lot of inputs that you can use to connect any type of device to this projector. If you want to connect a Fire Stick or you want to connect to Google Chromecast with Google TV, or you want to connect your Apple TV, you can do all of that right from this projector itself. You also do get a remote control, so if you don't want to use these capacitive buttons on the top and you want to, want to control the projector from afar, this is the remote control that you're going to have to do it with. Smaller size, but it has all the buttons that you need, so you can see all the buttons as well as your D-pad right there. And then you also do get some, some cables, so here's your AV input if you have an older, older generation device that you want to plug in. You do get your AV inputs right there, and there's your power plug, standard power plug for these projectors. And there's also some cleaning supplies. So again, everything is here to make you enjoy your Nexigo projector for the next 10 years or so. But let's plug it in, check it out together, watch some videos and see what it's all about. So now I've turned on the projector. This is going to be your home screen. And just for your reference, I'm standing directly next to the projector to give you an idea of the fan noise and whatnot. But looking at your multimedia section, if you do have a pen drive connected, you'll be able to see all of the files connected on your pen drive or your hard drive if it's USB. So you can quickly go in and play any movies, show any photos, play any music or text that you might have on that pen drive. Clicking on input source, this way you have the option for both of those HDMI ports on the back as well as your AV port right there. Under multicast, you do have multiple options for casting over from your device. So if your Windows device supports it, you can go ahead and cast from your Windows device. You first need to connect your projector to Wi-Fi and I'll show you the Wi-Fi settings in just a little bit as well. But we also do have that iOS cable cast that I showed you so you can use one of those USB ports, connect your phone with a cable and then be able to cast over whatever you want. Now when I say whatever you want, that, that really means YouTube videos or any stored videos or photos that you might have on your device. Whether you're on Android, Windows, even iOS, you're not going to be able to cast over, say, Netflix or Disney Plus or any of those copyrighted movies that you might have. This is, again, for your own personal multimedia. So it's very simple. Once you connect the projector to Wi-Fi, you'll be able to see this device and, and cast over very, very easily. To connect your iOS device to the projector, it couldn't be any simpler than just opening up your control center, tap on that screen mirroring option, and then look for your projector's name. Again, that's basically all you have to do. And then you'll be able to cast over your favorite YouTube videos, or you'll be able to cast over some music or anything like that. Once again, that will depend on the app, so just play around with the apps and see if that works for you. Now going back to the home page, there's just a couple things I want to show you. Under settings, of course, this is where you're going to be able to change, change certain things about your projector, like the projector mode. So that all depends how you have this projector installed in your home or office or conference room. You might want to invert the image. You also do have image scaling as well. So if you need to scale up or scale down the image, you can go ahead and do that. Now for aspect ratio, I usually leave that on auto. It's going to detect whatever source of multimedia you're playing and then kind of adjust the aspect ratio for you. But if you prefer 4x3 or 16x9 all the time, you can go ahead and change that aspect ratio. Under picture mode, there's a couple modes. So again, this, this might, might improve your quality if you're watching a movie or TV or sports. You can go in and even create your own user-defined picture mode if you want to. Now there's just two more settings, which I think are the most important. Under Wi-Fi settings, you can connect your projector to a 5 gigahertz connection, which is what I'd recommend if you're going to cast over multimedia. It's just going to be a much stronger connection. 
So here we are, you see all the list of available SSIDs, choose your own and enter your password and you're good to go. Now this also does have Bluetooth 5.1, which I really, really like because that means I can connect my favorite Bluetooth speaker to it or even connect some Bluetooth headphones. So this way I don't disturb anyone while I'm watching that late night game. So Bluetooth is very important. And when I've, when I've connected my speaker to Bluetooth, the latency was very, very low. So I'd say you do notice a little bit of a delay between the sound and the picture, but not that much. So it definitely doesn't stop the enjoyment level of you watching a movie. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. But those are all the settings that I want to show you here. So again, everything's here that you need. Now let's check out the video quality. In terms of the video quality, this is one of the better projectors that I've been able to use during the daytime. I have a window open. I also have a 100 watt bulb above me and I'm still able to see the image crisp and clearly. Everything is very enjoyable. Everything is very viewable. Everything is, is really awesome about this projector and even the speakers. If you don't have a Bluetooth connection and you don't want to connect speakers to it, I think you're going to be happy with the speaker quality from the Nexigo projector. But of course, connecting a Bluetooth speaker is going to make your, make your viewing enjoyment just a little bit better in my opinion. And again, in terms of latency, there's not that much of a delay between what's showing on the, on the screen and what's coming out of your speaker. So they did a really nice job with that Bluetooth 5.1 connection. Now, of course, once the lights go out and it's in a dark setting, this is where the image just really pops and everything looks crisp and clear. I'm extremely happy with this projector. I think this is one of the better projectors that I've reviewed and I've reviewed a bunch, guys. The image quality is on point during the day or even at night. Now, I can't show you the game. I did watch a full football game, but I know I'm going to get copyrighted and I can't show you a movie for copyright reasons as well. But I can show you some, some news and whatnot. So let's go ahead, take a look at some news, take a listen to the speakers. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. So let us focus on the how. Just tell us, what's your why? Better luck next time. But I haven't even come yet. You threw good money away when you bought those glasses. Next time, go to America's Best, where two pairs and a free exam start at just $79.95. Can't beat that. Can't beat this either. Book an exam today at americasbest.com. be able to vote they are dopey bastards the democrats democrats aren't that soft kamala harris went out of her way to lock up innocent black people who had evidence that they were innocent but would literally intentionally hide that evidence no. <laughs> these guys right here stop flexing your muscles jordan you look like a imbecile what kind of weapon do you want i don't know yet a big shotgun? I don't think I want a big shotgun. The size doesn't matter. Size does matter? <laughs> naughty, naughty. What does the Second Amendment mean to you? I don't...
Do you know what the Second Amendment is? Mm-mm. Please tell me. If I'm getting carjacked, I can shoot the guy. I can choose whichever weapon I want to have and keep and bear. Brett Bear? Not sure how to take that. Someone comes up to you with a weapon. How do you react? I will definitely punch him in the nose. I'm like, help! Get out of there. Hey, Google, turn on the front light. It's time to jet. Run for your life, run, run. Try to defuse the situation. So what would you say to them? Why do you have a weapon pointed at me? What is the issue? The Democrats would love that. You know, I just gotta fight them. Give me a little punch. That wasn't that hard. You fight like a woman. What does America need to do to stop the crime crisis? They need to get their together. Hey Google, Police. turn off the front light. Stop people from being drunk. I don't know how many people you're getting on board for that one. Talky, talky, talky. No more talky. I hope you guys like the samples as much as I did. This is an awesome, awesome projector. I can't stress that enough. If you're looking for a full-size 1080p native projector that you can watch during the day or at night, look no further than the Nexigo. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in another video.